Hi, I'm Minik from Box Square Marketing with your one minute marketing tip. And today's tip is about using the standard report in GA4 that is similar to the all pages report in Universal Analytics. So under reports, we have all the standard uh, reports. Behavior reports are called engagement and we're looking for pages and screens. If we scroll down to the tab, tabular data here at the bottom, the table, what we're seeing is an all pages report. So we're seeing all pages on the site sorted by the number of page views. If we wanted to see this by URL instead, we can um, click on the drop down and pick page path instead. And that's going to show us the URL for these pages. We have some volume metrics like number of page views, number of active users, number of new users, and we've got engagement metrics as well. So average engagement time, uh, scrolls, and events. This is all events. It includes things that are automatically tracked in the enhanced measurement like click and scroll activity, but you can ask this report to show you only one particular type of event. So maybe you want add to cart, or outbound link clicks, you can select that and it updates the report. Any event can be set as a conversion. So this report is showing all conversions, but you could change that to show just purchases or uh, first visit to the site. And then we've got total revenue. In order to create events as conversions, we do that under the configure section and we have, um, we can mark any of these as conversion. This is the Google demo account, so of course I don't have access to do that, but in your account, if you have admin privileges, you'll see blue toggles that you can toggle on any event to mark it as a conversion, so it shows up in your report. That's it, I'm Minik from Boxcar Marketing, and that's your one minute tip for today. Thanks, bye.